Big fish, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Another one, dude. That's better. He's big. Yup. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are having an amazing day today. Today we have a beautiful overcast day, which you guys know means we're doing some fishing. I just got kicked out of the golf course that we're going to start today's video off at. We caught a bunch of fish there on the chatterbait, sleeper gill, and I even caught one on a topwater. We just got kicked out of this spot, so we're going to go ahead and find some new places to fish in today's video. If you guys watched last video, I mentioned my poison ivy and I still have it, so I can't shave the beard. So we kind of got this scruff going on. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I do not like having facial hair, so this is kind of bothering me. But that's besides the point. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. I don't know if we're going to be fishing another golf course. We might be fishing another golf course after this. I got to figure it out right after I end this intro. We're going to figure out where the second spot of the day is going to be. But yeah, we just caught a bunch of fish to start it off. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Yo, this electric scooter is quickly becoming one of my favorite ways to get around while I'm fishing at these spots that you can't really pull your car into. Because now I'm not limited to just walking, dude. I can literally get around so far in such a short amount of time. I don't got to worry about if I get kicked out, you know, the cops getting here before I would be able to make it back to my car. But all right, guys, we are at another golf course spot. We're going to see if we can catch some fish here. So thank you guys for clicking on today's video. And we're going to get on our way. I will catch you guys over at the spot. Dude, the mats on the pond are so thick, there's literally a golf ball stuck on it. That's crazy. That is literally crazy. I don't even know if I'd get a blow up. I don't even know if I'd see a blow up through these mats because they're so thick. We've got a mouse lure in here and I have 17 pound fluoro on, so. You know what? We're gonna have to attempt to make it work. Top water lure, fluorocarbon. Oh guys, jeez dude. Jeez bro. Did you guys see that? At the freaking bank, dude. On the mouse. Oh my gosh. What a hook set. That was insane, bro. Pretty little guy, but jeez, dude. That thing destroyed it. Thanks for the bite, buddy. Dude, we actually landed our first topwater fish on fluorocarbon. That's interesting. The really cool thing about this mouse lure, the longer you cast it, this is the mouse by Lunker Hunt, by the way. It's the Forenzi mouse. So yeah, it has like some crazy fur on it. It's called like aquifer. And... The longer you fish with it, the more it's going to get wet. Your casting distance is going to keep getting further and further the longer you fish with it. So it's so fire. I was not expecting to catch fish on top water today. The one thing about the mouse is it's not made to go through thick mats like this. I think it's more of an open water bait. So we're going to we're going to give it a try, but it might be getting caught up on some stuff a lot cuz I'm not sure that it's designed to go through stuff like this. There you go. Dude, this one's jumping like crazy. Dude, he's stuck in all of that stuff. Jeez. There we go. Check that out. Number two on the sleeper go all the way out there. No hook points in this fish. Pretty dark because he's been under the weeds, I bet. Beautiful little bass right there. See you, buddy. Now we got all this to deal with. How you doing? What's up? Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I swear every time I'm at a golf course, the golfers are always like nice catch or something. They always come up to you or when they pass by, always got something nice to say. The scooter is parked in a very discreet location right here. We're gonna take it to the other side of the pond and we're gonna toss it around the sleeper go a little bit more over there. All right, before any more golfers get over to this hole, we're gonna try to fish down this bank and see if we can land another one. I'm pretty sure we're going to. Go. Got him. No, dude, I had him. I had him right there. There goes the tail on the sleeper gill. Imagine we catch one without the tail. That would be pretty funny. I love these baits, guys, but they, uh, they never seem to be lasting too long. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw this super fluke on the back of this chatter bait. We're going to throw it in the same spot, and I bet we're going to get nailed again. I want to get in there before another pair of golfers come over because I don't want to be... I'm, like, in the firing range right now, dude. I, they, uh, I'm not trying to get hit by a golf ball. Let's put it that way. All right, let's see if there's another one over there. Maybe that same fish will come eat again. Oh, dude, I just got smoked. 
Dude, another one ate it. Oh my gosh, guys. He broke the tail off again? Dude, first fish freaking is breaking my trailer off. That sucks because I don't even have another one. I saw that bass have the chatterbait in his mouth. I think there was two of them. Dude, they're stacked along this weed edge. I'm, I think we're going to get another one right here. Yep, got him right there, guys. What did I say? Holy, dude. Literally right there. Came up and smoked it. Oh, no, dude. The golfers are coming. Let's see if we can get another cast in there. Without the trailer. Another one. There we go, guys. Another one. Nice. Ugh. Dude, they are stacked on these weeds. Literally anywhere the weeds are, these fish are stacked. We don't even have a trailer on. Thank you for the bite, buddy. We are going to try to catch as many fish in this spot before the golfers come over here. What are we, two casts in a row right now? Can another one come out? Let's see. All right. Yep, got him. Got him. Another one. Three for four. There we go. Dude, this is dope. All right, I guess you don't need a trailer on the old chatterbait. Cause we're getting nailed like every cast right now without it. Another little one pounder. Thanks for the bite, buddy. See ya, bro. I'm not too sure how I feel about fishing this with a broken trailer. We might have to throw, I think the only other things I have in my bag are like Guggen up. Another one. Oh, dude. I mean, we're getting slammed here. Maybe the chatterbait is just what they want right now. When do they not want a chatterbait? Dude, we were three for four for a second there. Three casts, or four casts, three fish. I'm gonna let this chatterbait get down there a little bit more. Fish it slower, yep. Another one, that one's better. Dude, they are just loaded out there. Holy. There we go, guys, check that one out. Another one, literally on the chatterbait. <laughs> they're just, they're stacked out there right now. See you, buddy. Dude, I feel like it's gonna storm, and I do not want it to storm, because we are on these bass right now. Wind is picking up. All right, this trailer is toasted, so we're just gonna, we're fishing no trailer. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I've ever thrown a chatterbait without a trailer, but I'm sure it'll still get bit. I've seen kids catch five pounders out of this pond too, so there's definitely some bigger ones in here. Guys, there's no way there's not fish packed up in this corner here. Bro. No, dude. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Bro, he ate it at the bank. I couldn't even set the hook. Oh, another one. No, bro. No, no, no. What am I doing? Come and get it. Come on, dude. No freaking way, bro. Oh, yeah. I was going to what? Can't fish while there's golf going on. Usually I talk to the workers and they say as long as they stay out, everyone's way. It's cool. Not when, uh, not when golf's out. Maybe when we're closed, but we're open right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I was I. Just called me today. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was headed out anyway. It's fine. Right, thank you. Yeah, bro, for sure. We just got booted out of here. That sucks. Apparently, that dude's boss called him and told him to come kick me out. So, uh, I guess we're gonna be finding a new spot. What we're gonna go ahead and do? I mean, the rain's the rain's picking up anyway, like I was just saying before. So we're gonna go ahead pack the scooter up and. Uh, we're going to see if we can find another spot to fish at. All right, made it to a new spot. Let's see if there's fish in here. Got him. Big fish, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Guys. First two seconds, big fish. Oh my gosh, bro. Holy. All right, dude, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to gain some better access to fish this. Got him, there we go. There we go, dude. All right, little guy. Just a small one, but guys, that, uh, that first one I had was pretty big and I saw a giant behind me. Oh, I'm getting soaked by the sprinklers, dude. All right, jeez. Got him, got him. That's big, dude, gotta be. Good one, good one, guys. 
good fish. Let's go, dude. They're loaded in here. They're freaking loaded in here. Nice bass right there. See you, buddy. Oh, no. Dude, I'm getting soaked by these sprinklers. All right, we tied the lipless on. That's not a good way to start, but dude, we got wind, the chatterbait. I, I keep losing my trailers, so we're gonna throw the lipless and we're gonna see if we can smoke a big fish out of this pond. There we go, got him bro. Big, big one, I think. Dude, they feel so big, I don't know why. It's not a bad one though. It's not a bad one at all. Jeez, bro, this fish felt so big when you first hit it. That was all the way out there in the middle. See you, buddy. Guys, there's so much bait. I'm just trying to rapid fire cast because I know eventually I'm gonna hook an actual giant in this pond. We're throwing the lipless out there. Got 17 pound floor on. We are gonna we're gonna land a big fish out of here, dude. I'm really confident right now. There we go. All right, little guy. Please don't hook me, buddy. See, dude. Dude, that one smoked it. He's small though. I think he came off. There we go. Another one. It's a better one. There we go, dude. I'm a lipless right in front of me. There we go. Pretty little bass right there. Thanks, buddy. Another one. Oh, I had one. There we go. Little guy. Another one, dude. That's better. He's big. Yep. Probably the biggest one. There we go, dude. Fat. Nice fat bass right there on the lipless, bro. Uh, he hit it as soon as that hit the water. Check that out. Quality largemouth right there. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Let's go ahead and get him back. I have to kind of toss him just because it's really muddy right there. What's going on? How are you? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I just came here one day and one of the workers said as long as I stay out of the golfer's way, I'd be cool. Do I gotta go? It's okay if I gotta go. That's fine. I don't know his name or anything. He was on a cart just like you. He said, you know, just try to stay out everyone's way and that'd be cool. No, I totally understand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's cool. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> You're cool. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, for sure. Alrighty, guys, we uh, we got kicked out of here too. That guy was pretty cool about it and stuff. So, life is what you need. I just spent the rain day on drip I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memory.